It is some of the most dangerous work in the world. But a new generation of smart machines are now making explosive cleanup a whole lot safer. And a robotics enthusiast gets a chance to experience tomorrow's technology today. Hi, my name is Derek Hargrove, and today I'm going to make science fiction a reality. Explosive Ordnance Disposal, known as EOD, is one of the most dangerous and demanding jobs in the U.S. Air Force. The work requires patience and precision in the face of life-threatening risk. Today, Derek Hargrove, a 20-year-old robotics enthusiast from Tampa Bay, is going to meet the EOD specialists at Eglin Air Force Base. The robots that I'm excited to see today are some of the ones that may defuse bombs or clip wires to help defuse different things that our Air Force is dealing with. I'm really excited. Derek's behind the scenes experience starts at the 96th Civil Engineering Squadron with an introduction from Staff Sergeant Michael Pereira and Airman First Class Aaron Keeter. So what kind of suit do we have here? This is the MedEng uh, EOD-9 suit. I mean, how does it protect you all? It protects us through uh, some marvelous engineering. It's a couple of layers of Kevlar and Nomex woven together in all the right spots and it provides a, a great reduction in uh, blast open pressure so that you got an EOD operator who's got a good chance of uh, making it home to see his family. Can I try it on? Absolutely. Oh, man. Warning, it's a little heavy. What you got on is only about 35 pounds of the suit. Here comes the best part, the Formula One racing inspired protection helmet. And in here you have your AC unit. Wow, I don't know too many helmets that have that in it. All said and done, you got about 55 pounds that you're trying to walk around and then perform rocket surgery. Outside, the EOD specialists have a variety of bomb sensing technology and EOD robots. So tell me a little bit of what you have here. Uh, here we have a couple of the uh, operator control stations mm -hmm. for the Flashmill and Talon robot and the Rematech Andros HD1. It's that bigger robot right there. It's a very beefy, stout, very strong, rugged robot. We can lift up 100 pounds. It's a workhorse, it's a monster, and we love it. We have a portable x-ray, which allows us to see inside of a possible IED to make sure we have a good idea of what we're dealing with before we go and visit it. We would be doing this normally in that bomb seat you are wearing earlier. Now we're going to send some x-rays through that, and it'll give us a real-time image of what we got going on in there. There it is. This would look like to be our penalty. That's basically uh, what's going to detonate, what's going to hurt us. Now for Derek's EOD mission, he'll get to test drive the Talon. It weighs less than 100 pounds and is designed to be durable and waterproof. The Talon's tank-like treads allow it to climb stairs and maneuver through sand, snow, and rough terrain. The Talon can move at up to six feet per second as an operator monitors its movement with four video cameras fed via a radio or fiber optic link. All right, first thing you gotta do, turn off your parking brake. So you're gonna push that little button down and send it on its merry way. You got up, down, left, right, 360 degrees. Basically what we have down there is a mock-up IED you're going to go down there, you're going to find it, and then you're going to make it safe. Oh yeah, I'm off of it just a little bit. So we pulled out the fuse, well, how do we dispose of it? Well, now that we've got the fuse out, we're going to dispose of it on our terms. A day with the EOD team always has an explosive ending. They'll take the ordinance to the range for some controlled mayhem. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Oh. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's pretty cool. Wow, All in a day's man. work. Uh, my most favorite technology today was definitely the Talon. Uh, being able to drive it and see what task it could do and how it operated, it was amazing. Being able to defuse bombs and, and all kind of different things, I mean, the technology was awesome. 
My love for robots has definitely increased. It's opened my mind to learn what they have and what they're providing for the new technology to protect us and our troops. I learned a lot of things from the EOD unit and it was a great experience for me.